Hello everybody, what is going on? It's me, Seth Carl, and welcome back to Bastion. So at the end of the last episode, the smoking pot was Seems introduced, the only thing the calamity saved and was that is what we're going to do today. Pipe. I forget if I've actually mentioned this, but this is one of the ways kid collapses that after the just game drag. It explains the story of the characters a little bit, and I just think it's a really good way of doing it. And I just like it. And it's fun, you get to practice your fighting and stuff. Past. Only good thing ever come out of the past. And yeah, it's that's history. it. Um, admittedly, also, um, one of my the recordings I did actually got messed up, so I had to redo a big portion of the game in order to get back to this point. So if there's some inconsistencies, that's why. But anyhow, let's get on with this. And I do quite like having a scrap skip for this. Catches up with a kid. Hardly had a moment's rest since all this started. And he just kind of flew off the edge. Fair to say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. But it's not obvious really going to be a ton to say because most of this whole bit is about learning the characters, so there's not a ton for me to add, really. He never so, knew his old man, but he had his mama to take care of. Much Frail quiet, thing I'm with pure white person. hair like his. Having his mama's hair did the kid no favors while he was growing up, but he learned to hold his own out there. Also, I just gotta say, I really like the way the colors look in this bit. Really kind of like all the and stuff. Yeah, it's just School ain't working out, Especially so the kid way. signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylandia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the aura, you name it. Yeah, more or less for this part, you kind of want to try to save your health on as best Once you can. Once a kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. about these guys is once they start like winding up they can't change the direction of the looking so you can kind of just the walk city had nothing for him. Up. The money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found either. That's one of the things I love about this guy, is he can line people up and hit more than one person. So what did the kid do? Why he went right on back to the walls for another five years? Yep, you can't fall through that. And that, yeah. So, yeah, just general try not to do that.
In the history of Ceylandia, nobody has ever volunteered oh, wow. for a second shift on the walls. Thanks, pretty big holes in this place. On the other hand, the plus side to that is I can just knock things plus. Not bad, see? But, uh, I don't know if she's on How there, kid, learn to fend for himself. Learn to build. Learn to break. Let's some more health tonics. So yeah, ideally you want to get rid of the traits before you get before they rise and turn into things. But obviously not helped by the fact that I can't seem to avoid these holes in the ground. In time, the kid earned good standing with the marshals. They trusted him to scout out farther than anybody. Uh, why is he not trying to avoid those corpses? Shoot. So yeah, with the scrap musket and machete, you kind of just work out a combo thing of just left clicking for a bit and right clicking. When you're a close friend, it just works in the end, and you just one figure night, out your own pattern. One of his expeditions, want, but the ground beneath him shuddered, this is what cracked, I use. and split apart. Oh, get me out of this stuff. Oh, it's everywhere. Grenade. Wow! Those are just overpowered. Bam. <laughs> he saw nothing where the world used to be. The calamity happened just like that. All the kid had to work with was his hammer and the clothes on his back. I didn't even have my hammer at first. I had to work with nothing. And then, like, the I didn't very find a hammer. But still, I didn't have a hammer at first. I checked it out in there. Either. Through twisted streets, he ran with nothing but the city crest and an old stranger's voice to guide him. Uh, they're everywhere. So yeah, with this part, you really want to be working on lining enemies up for the scrap musket. Because you can stay fairly safe. Quite a bit of damage like this. And generally, I would say avoid getting in too close. And as, as usual, avoid falling in those damn holes. Ugh. On the other hand, as usual, you can use the holes against them. Which is nice. But just look we'll how the stage stands here. Vaunted safe haven. He and no one else. Okay, not Grenade. Yeah, that's not what I was planned. I think I think he just walked off the edge there as stupid as I am. But then that makes me feel all he got was more thankless work from a man who ain't even asked his name. Not sure. Yeah, it's better just to kind of slash at those. Because if you break them with the shot, that will make a big thing turn out. And as you know, I'm really prone to falling in these big holes. Sure, I may be the one who dreamt up the walls and the bastion, but the kid made them real. Not me. Come on, into the hole. Boom. 
like to say I'll never forget him or what he's doing, what he's done. I surely would. There we go. That is the smoking gun. And the kid's story. Um, I don't. I have no idea how long that lasted, so I'm gonna check that quickly and see if I'm gonna have time to do a level. Ah, oh, yeah, I should. I think I'll go for a bit of a longer episode this time. There's no reason not to. But first, let's blow a little bit more money. Oh, I'm at upgrades. Yeah, I've lost and found, maybe. Um, yeah, there's not really. Are any of these helpful? Mm, not terribly. Okay, on to the next level then. And more money. The Ravers. They are majestic. They seemed unstoppable. Eh, yeah, not so much. But, where to next? Aha. Didn't see you there for a while. Langston Ritter. Ooh, I think I remember this level. That's a good one, I think. The Langston yeah. River flowed free and wild till the calamity drank it all up. Thud, as you Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that sounds perfectly reasonable. So the water just flew away. That, that just... I cannot begin to River explain banks how much sense that makes. Bags. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous fairy barge is still afloat. Weep and Millie. She Let's sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nellie knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Uh, yeah, sure. Or maybe not. I call the security that. skiff pulls up portside. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. Well, I don't know. And then stuff starts just falling off as usual. Get rid of it. They try to cut her off. They try to slow her down. They try to knock her out. Funny. Well, Weepin' Nelly tries harder. Try as you might, though. She hits a snag. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna survive this. The kid's Ooh, gotta yes help he get untangled. He's perfect. Favors for favors. That is the greatest stone guy ever. And, uh, as usual, I'm really good at not just falling off things. At least she picked a good spot for a break. It's the core is right there. Oh, uh, let's see if this way is the core. Yeah. Which means we're not going to come over there, actually. Take these out so we don't have to later. Okay, okay I can't actually get to that yet. Um, if you want, you can switch up your weapons here. If you're hurt or missing tonics, I would recommend going next and refills them. And then, pick up the core and run like hell. Then the kid hears an unusual sound, like okay. a hundred flapping wings. Because They've been watching you're about to get every move. They had their really own eyes on the core. I totally but why? He finds Weeping Nelly ready to go. Yep. Turns out she's got a special surprise I will keep when this the water's alive. getting rough. But basically you... Oh wow. Okay. You gotta keep the sentry unsafe and you gotta s s well, stay alive. 
She's gonna need a little help with all them peckers. Yeah. Trafty things think they're king of the roost now. Okay. The rest of us only wish we could fly in times like these. Because basically all the monsters now will more or less target the sentry guns and not you. And those sentry guns are going to be so helpful, so you pretty much want to keep them alive as long as you can. Personal recommendation, shift and scrap musket. Because those security gifts keep on coming, start Basically inside. take no hits. Don't seem to care what the they shoot, get, they they get destroyed. So you can pretty much just get like... Six or seven. And if you're feeling lazy about these guys, you can just grenade them. Windbags get an even better idea. I wish they ain't the smash we've been down in splinters. I'm gonna die. Alrighty. Well, it all proves too much for poor Nelly. No, oh, the guy died. Well, he's dead, but he's broken. Get off. She's just got to make one last stop. With her last breath, Nelly gets the kid to solid ground. Solid ground and pick her country. They I want that core real bad. Might be they want it just as bad as a kid. Nope. The kid shoes them off, knowing they'll be back. Know how many times kid nearly fell off the barge back there? Five times. This next part I'm pretty much not going to be very loud because it's playing a pretty damn good song. Now, listen close. You should remember this next part. 